today we drove from Oceanside up to San Pedro here in LA County to Channel Street Skate Park. Super stoked. This park's been closed down what I think is almost like 10 plus years. We'll go into some of the details of why it was shut down. The city came down, shut it down. It was built illegally by skateboarders that just needed a skate park. There's no skate park by here. And then they ended up getting an official skate park after this got shut down. But they have some renovations. Channel Street DIY is back. So I'm super hyped to check it out today. Give you guys a little tour. Get the first session back here. It's been open for, I think, like two weeks. So super stoked to get a session at this place. I love it. Super rad DIY spot. They have a bunch of like cool obstacles out front that are new. So we're going to hit some of these new obstacles out front and then we'll jump inside, get a session, give you guys a little tour of this amazing DIY skate park built by skateboarders illegally. And then the city recently gave them permission to keep it going for 20 years. We'll dive into that in a little bit. Super fun session on all the outside stuff. This bank wall right here, not bank wall, sorry, super steep transition just to like bank is really fun. It looks like impossible to skate, but it works really good. That's a fun part about DIY stuff. Let's jump inside, check out the new futures inside, new paint job, new coping. Let's jump into the bowls. getting pretty sweaty. Look at this nice gloomy day out for skating. It's always nice. The sun's not blaring on you. They didn't paint it. So there's this yellow, as you can see, color with some new colors on the tile. And this color is really nice because when it's really bright out, I have a hard time seeing concrete. It's like really hard to see and it's just hard to see where the shadows are and where they're transitioning. So a color like this is really nice for transition. Something I didn't really think about. I felt just skating this and thinking about it being gray. It's really nice. So yeah. Super fun. They didn't really change much in this bowl. The only thing they changed, they took out the one little middle piece and they made a channel where you could roll in and roll out of the bowl from the parking lot. That didn't really exist before. I'm actually having a hard time keeping my speed in that area because I was used to that area before. But yeah, overall, this bowl is really fun. I'm gonna move around to the other areas of the skate park. I think someone has mentioned before, it's kind of like mini ramps with like different corners, but I'm not, I hope that's not an insult I mentioned before. Channel Street is super fun. Shout out to all the nonprofit organizers, the uh, everyone that's down here and helping and getting the skate park going and keeping it alive is really rad. Yeah, super fun session over here. Let's check out some of the other areas of the skate park. A lot of really cool details in all of the skate park as well. They don't they don't miss a beat. A lot of art within the skate park. Also new life hack, it brought the cooler out on the session. We had some ice from the leftover party at my house yesterday. It's got some cool waters on the session. And uh, it's pretty funny, we got the purple and pink waters for the super like, you know, DIY hardcore. Coming there with our fruity drinks. I'm all about it. Oh, you Thank oh. you. Oh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, cheers. Serve it.
painting this section blue, which is really rad. They all have like a different section. Basically, everything under the bridge is blue, and then everything in the sun is tan. I'm not sure that's intentional for the brightness, like I was saying earlier, but really nice, super fun. This area hasn't really changed too much. They just fixed up the coping, kind of repaired some things, but in the middle bowl, they changed it and they added like a whole little bowl section, which is really rad. This is definitely all new. It's like a little mini ramp right here. And then they have a spine that goes over to the other side. This doorway behind me is like what makes the skate park sort of have their moment, their spot. It's been on cover magazines. Really skinny, it's hard to come in really quick, but really rad obstacle that's here. It's definitely a staple to Channel Street. Hope you all enjoyed the session here at Channel Street. Thanks to everyone that's uh, keeping the skate park alive. I'll leave links down below if you want to get involved or check out Channel Street, want to go here. Super rad spot. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Mash. We